Are you looking for the best enclosed 3D printers? In this video, we will look at some of the 6 best enclosed on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. XY's Printing Da Vinci 1.0 Pro. When the DaVinci Jr. 1.0 is too limited for you, check out the DaVinci 1.0 Pro. It's a larger and more printer with the ability to print PLA but also ABS. At around $350, the DaVinci 1.0 Guru is more expensive than the DaVinci Jr. 1.0, but it attracts more versatility and more long-term price. This enclosed 3D printer is fully assembled out of the box and ready for action in less than an hour. It's a simple print bed calibration process and, like the DaVinci Jr. 1.0, comes with a decent but limited slicer. For the DaVinci Pro, XYZ printing retained USB port but dropped the SD card choice in favor of a Wi-Fi alternative for untethered printing jobs. The DaVinci 1.0 Pro provides more possibilities than the DaVinci Jr. 1.0. It has a far larger build size and, most of all includes a heated print bed. With the heated print bed, it is now possible to generate 3D models made of ABS. The enclosed print chamber helps maintain the temperature. That's not all. The DaVinci 1.0 Pro allows for flexibility when it comes to the filaments you can print with. It's an open filament system, which means you are free to use filaments from some other brands. However, you do need to produce your spool holder since the internal spool holder is optimized for XY's printing spools. The DaVinci 1.0 Pro great for beginners who need a plug-and-play 3D printer, but require a few more features than what is on offer in the DaVinci Jr. It's simple to use and prints well. The Pro is a budget 3D printer I can recommend for under $500. At Number 2. Dremel Digilab 3D20. Dremel is a reliable American producer, and their latest offering, the Digilab 3D20 serves as their entry-level enclosed 3D printer. The Dremel Digilab 3D20 is designed for casual home use as well as school use. Its housing comprises of a sturdy frame with an inner spool holder. The Digilab comes with a touchscreen interface on the base and includes the essential tools you need to make alterations, as well as an SD card reader. We were impressed with the 3D20's build dimension. It's larger than the XY's Printing Da Vinci Jr. 1.0 but has less vertical space than the XY's Printing Da Vinci 1.0 Pro, which comprises more rounded measurements in the three axes. Unfortunately, it lacks a heated print bed, the chief component that holds it back from being a serviceable 3D printer to intermediate and advanced users a heated print bed is vital for high temperature materials such as ABS. However, you can print PLA with this printer instead. Read more about the differences between ABS and PLA here. As mentioned above, the 3D20 is limited to PLA. Even worse, Dremel has optimized it for first-party filaments. This is more extortion than optimization. Because unlike the 3D printers from DaVinci, the 3D20 cannot print with filaments from different brands, which means filaments from Hatchbox and other popular brands are on the menu. Thus you have to select from a much more limited, an expensive Dremel selection of PLA plastic filament. Apart from building your holder that is external, there are no drawbacks to using filaments that are third-party even though Dremel has cautioned that doing so could lead to low-quality prints. Despite its limitations, the 3D20 is still a solid 3D printer that gets the job done. It's a beginner-friendly 3D printer that comes in a fully assembled package, with an initial setup that requires less than one hour. At Number 3. Bibo 2. An entirely enclosed 3D printer, the Bibo 2 is packed with convenient features designed to make 3D printing hassle-free for everyone. It's got a runout sensor that detects when the filament feed runs dry. Whenever the filament that is loaded runs out, it waits for you to load a new one and pauses the print. It can resume from a power failure. Both features are especially useful during large-scale printing jobs. The Bibo 2 is available in various configurations so be certain that you double-check your order. The product listed here is the one with a laser engraver and a touchscreen interface. 
Like the Dremel Digilab 3D20, this 3D printer has an interface at the base, giving it a more modern appearance than 3D printers equipped with the old-school knob or button-operated LCD interface. Though most users prefer the usual USB and SD card setup, Bibbo has opted for the Wi-Fi options, although you can still get the USB and SD card reader if you wish. Equipped with dual extruders, the Bibbo 2 includes a heated print bed, which opens the door for a variety of plastic filaments. The build plate is detachable, allowing for easy removal of 3D models. The Bibbo 2 is a well-built 3D printer oozing with features. Once you've set it up and configured the settings, it's simple to use and produces great quality prints. At Number 4. Chidi Tech X Pro. The Chidi Tech X Pro is one of the cheapest printers in this review which comes with the coveted double extruder technology, allowing you to print with two colors and produce complex 3D models which require water-soluble supports, such as hips. Its design is based on the MakerBot Replicator 2X. Like the Bibbo 2, the X-Pro includes a touchscreen interface at the bottom of its robust metal and plastic frame, which comes with a pair of acrylic covers for the front and the top sides. It comes fully assembled out of the box and ships with a user-friendly slicer in two rolls of filaments one is PLA, and another is ABS. It's easy to prepare, with the first configuration taking only 30 minutes to one hour. The X-Pro includes a print bed that is heated. It's optimized for PLA and ABS filaments. Also, albeit with some tinkering, it's possible to print with different filaments since it has a heated bed. The build surface is removable, so taking out finished 3D models is straightforward. The X-Pro is a perfect 3D printer for users. With the appropriate settings, it can produce impressive results. It's also backed by an honest company that offers reliable customer support, which can't be said for most Chinese 3D printing businesses. If you don't like the Creator Pro and the Bibbo 2 and find the Dremel Digilab 3D22 restricted, the X-Pro is for you. At Number 5. Jgarora A8. With regards to maximum build volume, open-frame 3D printers often have the advantage over completely enclosed 3D printers. But there are some enclosed 3D printers which offer a bigger build volume, and that's the Jgarora A8. It boasts a massive build volume, dwarfing the Creator Pro and other MakerBot clones. This is a 3D printer designed for professional use, offering reliability and higher precision, and its layer resolution of 50 microns means it is one of the most accurate printers in this review. If you did not like the black finish of the Dremel Digilab 3D45, then the A8 might strike your fancy. It comes within an all-white finish and has a metal frame with a control panel in the base. The interface is intuitive to use. The 3DP45 is a breeze to set up. Its automatic print bed calibration system saves beginners from having to deal with manually adjusting the print bed. It includes a set of starter Dremel filaments, nylon and ABS, and a custom Dremel slicer. If you need more flexibility, you may use other slicers like Simplify 3D, Cora, and Slick 3R. The A8 has a single extruder, which means it can only print with one type of filament at a time. It also has a heated print bed, which places materials like ABS and nylon and an open filament system. It's compatible with different slicers, including Simplify 3D and Slick 3R. The setup is straightforward. Leveling the A8's print bed is painless and loading the filament is easy. It takes less than 30 minutes to set up the A8, and that's including the time it takes to install the software package. The Jorora A8 is an expensive 3D printer. Considering that it only has a single extruder, we feel that you should only consider this if you need the larger build volume. At Number 6. Dremel Digilab 3D45. The Dremel Digilab 3D45 is the big brother of this 3D20. It is more reliable and more accurate and is equipped for college use. It's also far more expensive, although the price difference between the two used to be relatively smaller back when the 3D20 retailed for $1,000. In contrast to this 3D20, the 3D45 includes a sleek, all-black, professional appearance that tells you it is more than just a 3D printer for use. It has a touchscreen interface at the bottom containing the fundamental tools you need to check and adjust the print settings. It has a single extruder setup and comes 
like the Sindo 3 Dwox DP200, the 3D45 boasts an onboard camera. You can connect to it via Wi-Fi, which means it is possible to track your print progress from a distance in addition to sending print jobs through the app. The connection can be unreliable, so use the USB connection when possible. The 3DP45 is a breeze to set up. Its automatic print bed calibration system saves beginners from having to deal with manually adjusting the print bed. It includes a set of starter Dremel filaments, nylon and ABS, and a custom Dremel slicer. If you need more flexibility, you may use other slicers like Simplify 3D, Cora, and Slick 3R. Like the 3D20, the 3D45 is optimized for Dremel filaments. But unlike the 3D20, the 3D45 turns this limitation into a feature. It automatically adjusts the settings ensuring you always get the best settings for that particular filament. So, there is no need to tweak the settings every time you switch to a different type of plastic. This means that, if you use a Dremel filament with this printer, you have the perfect temperature and extrusion speed already available. The 3D45 is one of the best options on the market if you want a trusted 3D printer a larger project or build volume. It doesn't demand a lot of maintenance after each print, courtesy of its extruder that is well built that resists filament clogging and has excellent print quality.